Hello everybody! So, I own an Oculus Quest 2 and one of the main things that I love using it for is to watch Netflix or Amazon Prime on a huge screen because I don't own a big TV. Um, so today I am going to be showing you how to sideload the Android version of Netflix onto your Oculus Quest 2. Now you may be thinking to yourself, but Genghis! Uh, Oculus already has a an official Netflix app that you can just download and get on your quest. Why do I need to sideload one? Well, there's a couple of main reasons. Uh, the first is that the quality on the Netflix VR app is pretty terrible. It runs at 480p and uh, in my experience it like crashes a lot and the show will just stop working in the middle of something. Um, the other reason is that uh, you can use hand tracking in this in the Android one because it runs off of the home environment. So um, you just use your hand tracking. You can also download shows and movies. So if you're ever on a plane or something or you don't have internet access, you're able to download, um, you know, like a whole bunch of shows like you can do on any of the other Netflix apps out there, like on your phone or TV or computer or something. Um, so it is a lot better than the official one and it's pretty easy to set up. So I'm going to go through the steps right now. I am on my desktop. I'm just going to go through the steps of uh, side loading your quest and installing side quest. Um, it's pretty easy. You can do it in about five to ten minutes. I will leave a link for this in the description. So if you just follow along this uh, readme here, you should be able to figure it out. But first thing you're going to want to do is just download the app for whatever PC you have. As you know, If you have a Windows PC, you just get the Windows app. Double click it to install it. You just put that on your, on your desktop. Um, mine's already installed. so. I will not be installing that again. The next thing you need to do is create an organization on uh, Oculus. So I've already done mine, so it's gonna look a little bit different when I go to this link. Um, but you're gonna see something there that says create new organization and that's the one you wanna click. You don't wanna make the app. And uh, you just type in your name. It doesn't have to be professional or anything. Mine is just called Genghis VR. Um, and that way you can turn on the developer mode for the quest. Um, so you just go ahead and do that. Make your organization, organization excuse me. Uh, next thing you need to do is to install the drivers. Um, so you're gonna click on this. Um, I have read and then you're going to download the drivers. And um, you're going to extract the uh, you're gonna extract this, excuse me, USB drivers, and you're just going to click on uh, this, sorry, this one, and you're going to, I need to extract it first, so let me do that. Um, we'll just put that on my desktop. And leave. Install. That's what you want to do. Um, mine's already installed, so go down here, click on install. Um, and that'll install the drivers for your PC, so you can start side loading stuff. Um, all right, moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you're gonna go to your Oculus app on your phone, and you're gonna go to the settings menu, more settings, and then enable developer mode. And uh, I think the Oculus Quest then has to restart, and you'll be in developer mode at that point. All right, afterwards, um, you can open up SideQuest now, or you can wait, um, but the next time you restart it and you have it plugged into your PC, you're going to see a message pop up um, inside the headset. You want to click on this box that says, always allow from this computer, and then you click on OK, and uh, you're good. So then you can open up SideQuest, um, which this is what it looks like. And uh, you can do a bunch of cool things here. If you wanted to stream from your PC, you, from your PC to the Quest, you can do that here with virtual desktop. Or the other one is um, ALVR, which there's a search bar. That is the other one that you can use, which is somewhere here. And then again, um. Here it is. That's the other one that you can use to stream uh, games from your PC to 
uh, the quest, which I would not recommend. Um, I went over the reasons why I don't recommend this for PC in another video, which I will also link down below if you're interested in that. Um, but you do need side quests because we're looking at Netflix right now. Um, so to get the Netflix app, you're going to come to this link. Again, I'm going to be leaving this in the, uh, in the description. This is the Android version of Netflix, which will work on your Oculus Quest. Um, so, let me just refresh this page. Um, uh, that's, yeah, it's still, you have to wait a second before I can download it. Um, but once that comes up, you're going to download the APK file. Um, just wait for that, and you have the Android version of Netflix, uh, which is not on SideQuest, that's just another a third party thing. Um, but once you have that and you have your Quest connected, it should look like this. Um, so it should say Oculus Quest 2 connected. If it doesn't say that, then um, make sure that that is connected for you. Um, anyways, afterwards, you're going to click on this button right here, install APK files. You're going to go to downloads and you're going to click on the Netflix app. You're going to open it and it'll just install for you. Again, mine's already installed, so I don't want to do it again. Um, and that's it. You have Netflix. Uh, now to access it, you're going to go into your quest. You can unplug it from your computer now. Uh, you're going to go to the top right under unknown sources. That's where you get all of the apps that you've sideloaded. And you're going to click on Netflix. Unfortunately, I can't show you what it looks like because um, of copyright reasons. The app just doesn't allow you to record anything while using it. Uh, but you are able to use hand tracking in it, click on stuff, um, download shows and everything, um, which is a lot better than the official one. So go ahead and delete the official Netflix app and just use this. Uh, the screen is a little bit smaller, but the quality is a lot higher and you have the benefit of uh, downloading shows. So. That is very useful. All right, so before I end the video, I just wanted to go over some uh, cool apps that you should install on uh, SideQuest. And if you don't know what SideQuest is, it's kind of like the early access of Oculus Quest games. It's completely safe to use. You don't need to worry about this uh, ruining your headset or anything. Um, a lot of developers use this if they can't get their app uh, on the Oculus official store or if there's like copyright reasons or something. But um, it's totally safe to install apps from this. Um, it's super easy. Um, and also, if you ever want to remove apps that you have installed on this, um, you're going to click on this button right here, currently installed apps. And uh, this is everything, including the official ones. Um, but if it doesn't have a little icon, that usually means that you've installed it with SideQuest. So you can see here, I do have Netflix, Pokemon VR is something that I've used. Um, I already took off ALVR, but I was using that on this. Um, and you can just come in here and uninstall the app and then I'll just get rid of it. So if you're like running out of space or anything, um, anyways, the things that I would recommend you try, I haven't tried all these, it, SideQuest has things like Pavlov, um, Hyper Dash, which I've heard these are pretty fun. I have played Pavlov on PC, haven't tried the Quest version. I've heard it's pretty decent. Um, but I would recommend Physics Playground for sure. It's pretty interesting, uh, little game. It's kind of like... Boneworks or Blade and Sorcery, but the Oculus Quest version, so it's a little bit lower poly, and the physics aren't as good, but they're pretty decent for what this app is. Um, and it's a it's a neat little app that you can just get and have some fun with um, if you're bored. The other thing I would absolutely recommend you try is Hand Physics Lab. Now this uses the native uh, hand tracking on the Quest, so gonna track all of your fingers and you can start manipulating objects, grabbing stuff. Uh, this was very amazing to experience. Um, I've never played anything like this in VR. It's more of like a, a proof of concept. Uh, there's a bunch of different like mini games that you can try. There's even like a virtual keyboard so you can try typing in VR um, realistically using your fingers. Um, so for sure I would recommend that you grab this. Uh, I, I also tried Pokemon VR. This is a fun little game. It's kind of like a MMO version of Pokemon. Um, you physically throw the balls. It's a little bit weird and janky, but it's a free game. 
I think you can get it on PC as well, but uh, it's pretty easy to install with side quests. You can just play anywhere. Um, it's a pretty good time. And the other one is T for God. This has a very interesting way of using your uh, physical play space to move around. So instead of using a joystick to move, it will manipulate the environment around your uh, physical play space. So you're going to be walking physically. Um, and it, you don't need like a huge play area to use this in. It'll just uh, adapt to whatever size that you have. Um, I pretty sure this is free. You don't need to pay for this one, um, but that's definitely worth trying. The other one is Ancient Dungeon. I've heard a lot of good things about, or Synth Riders. These are paid apps. So some of these on side quests you do have to pay for, um, but a lot of them you don't. There's like Doom, um, things like that. So it's, uh, it's a good time. So definitely check out side quests. Um, but anyways, um, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully, uh, if you wanted to watch movies and to have a higher quality picture on Netflix, or if you wanted to like download stuff, um, that you got something out of this video. But other than that, have a great rest of your day.